Hey, welcome to a Blender quick tip video. Today's topic is how to cut a clean hole in a curved object without distortion. Uh, I do a lot of aircraft modeling and I use this technique quite a bit when I'm trying to cut out holes in curved surfaces that uh, might be difficult otherwise. You might get some distortion or pinching or something around things. Um, so using the knife reject tool and a shrink wrap modifier, you can cut very clean holes in things and then not have any wrinkles or pinching around the object. We're actually going to be creating this guy here, very simple model, sphere, the little cutout in the middle, but you'll notice that the transition from one to the other is pretty good. It's a nice curved line. This only has you know one or two subdivisions on it. Um, so let's get started. Get rid of this guy, I'll go into front view, side view, and we will create a round cube. There we go. Um, this will be our base mesh, and we'll just uh, rename that base mesh, and we will give it a subdivision surface. Now, this is what's going to the shrink wrap is going to actually shrink down around this. So we want a high number of levels here to make that smooth shade smooth. All right, we're going to duplicate that. And I'm going to hide the base mesh. We don't need it now. And we'll call this say the cut mesh. Alright, this is the one we're going to do the working on. We'll change this back down because we don't need all that resolution there. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our cookie cutter. The thing we're going to Use to cut a hole, and I'm just going to use a circle. And eight's good enough. I'll drag this along the X, get it out in front, and go to edit mode and shrink it down. All right, that looks good. I'm going to hit E to extrude, and S to go to the middle. Oops, I'm on. There we go. That's better. And what we want, what we want is some nice edge looping here. This is going to be the edges of our circle. This is going to be this row of faces is going to be on the outer sphere and this row of faces is eventually going to end up on that inner plate. Now we select all and we want to select, uh, you want to delete, hit X, and then you want only the faces. And what that gives us is it just gives us the edges and that's going to be what we use to cut out. Um, before we do the cut we want to make sure that the subdivisions are off. It seems to work better when subdivisions aren't on, select the cutter, select the sphere, go into edit mode, select everything, hit F3 and type knife and you'll find knife project. All right, Down here in the bottom you'll see an option that say cut through. And if we select that you can see it's projected across the back and that's based on your camera view at the time that you, you click that. So if I turn it off now, it's it's gone. So we just want the one side. All right, go into object. We can hide that. We're done with that for now. So you can see we've got that circle projected nicely on there. But we have some issues with, you know, obviously these aren't very good quads here. So we're going to clean this up a bit. Now I'm just selecting, uh, you know, I did the first one. I select them and I hit M and merge at last and then I can just select again and hit shift R and then that duplicates the last command that I did. So quick work of this. Oops, that was not what I wanted. Oh, that'll work. Alright. And these go here. Alright. Um, and for speed sake, I'm just going to do this. If you were doing something higher quality, you might want a few more faces in here. Um, but for what we're doing now, so this will be just fine. I will add a few more faces in here to give this a little bit more stuff to go on. Uh, Alright, that looks good. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to pull a couple of these out along the normals just to make it worse than it really is. Alright, so that's our our sphere. And if we put the I have one material here, 
you can see how, how horrible that looks, right? So now we add the shrink wrap. And we're going to pick our base mesh. And we're going to turn on subdivision. Look at that. Already much better. Pump that up a little bit. And the reason I pull those things out is to kind of show you the difference between reality and what the shrink wrap modifier is doing. You can see here this cage shows the actual geometry that's underneath. Um, and then that's what we're seeing. I found that when I'm working on you know aircraft and stuff, sometimes it's it's a it's helpful to take the, the shrink wrap, duplicate it, and then apply it. And that shrinks stuff down. You can see you see how much closer that cage is to the surface. It doesn't poke out anymore. Uh, this is particularly important if you've got a bunch of shrink wrap modifiers in your stack. Um, they can kind of start to act quirky as they start to act against each other if the geometry is really you know poking poking way out there. Uh, the next thing to do is we're going to well let's add a uh, solidify to this and go into edit mode. So now we want to, we're just going to grab our circle and this will be you know, the controlling edge loop to give us a little bit of a tight edge. I'm going to hit P and by selection. Look at that. Pretty smooth. Go back to, there we go. Yeah, we, could, we could make that a little better I guess if we went to 3. The thing is, you know, we're able to easily cut cut a surface into another into a curved surface and maintain that continuity without any pinching. All right. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.